morning guys, it's Saturday morning, heading back to Calais to go back home after two weeks away. We're about an hour and 40 minutes away from Calais. We got the frying pan on, doing our last bit of bacon and eggs. We're gonna have a bit of bacon and egg sandwich. Beautiful morning here. I think Angie's just gonna peer around the corner. Hello. There she is, look. You all right? I'm yeah. just watching a little Chinese bloke taking photos of every truck in the park. Yeah, but that's what Chinese people do. Not take pictures of trucks, just... Um, He's just doing that with his camera. Well, they just take pictures of... Just take pictures of... Is he yeah. taking a picture of us? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. I was sitting up buttering bread. All oh, right. <laughs> yes, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's morning. This is lovely here. Yeah. Beautiful sunny morning. It's been a bit cloudy, haven't Yeah, it's been a bit... Yeah, it was a bit... Well, we had a little bit of drizzle, didn't we? Mm. Yeah, and when we when we left uh, the, that Belgium Luxembourg border, it was, it was gorgeous like this. And all of a sudden, I thought, oh, we're going back to the UK. It's going to be all grey and horrible. But it's not. But it's not. Right, I've got to get on and get this bacon and egg sorted. Right, we made it. We're at Calais. Just coming into the Euro Tunnel. The next Hopefully on a Saturday there will be less traffic the and we will get yeah. straight on the train. It seems very quiet, I don't know, I'm not about the trucks. We stopped off at uh, the wine shop and got all our wines. Thank you very much. Hopefully this will be plain sailing, but you never know with Calais. your destination. Thank you Jane. Well done Jane. Well done Jane. Us a lot of yeah she's a good old girl. Look at the state of the weather look we're getting ready to go home and it's rubbish. We've had the highest temperatures we've had is 39 down in Italy <laughs> and we've come to 20 degrees half. It's quite a nice complex, but it's been made like a bloody prison because of all these blooming foreign illegal immigrants. Well, they would be foreign, wouldn't they? They're just, most of them are nasty. Attacking drivers and ambushing them. Why would we want people like that in our country? Yeah, you know, don't sort of put them in a good light, does it? See, look at this, like a bloody prison, isn't it? Yeah, 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 but it's to keep all the scum out. The cost of this must be ridiculous. Well, there's no trucks at all down there. Yeah, well, this all used to be open, even when I started coming through. Yeah. I do feel safer coming into the train though than going to the boat at the moment. I'll just go straight through now though. Not that cut. Can you get out and move that cone? <laughs> I wonder if they'd be out there with their guns if we did oh that. Oh my god, can you imagine? Yeah. Oh, we're just nipping through there. Is that you going back out? We are, we're going back over here. I thought we were going straight in there, but it has changed a little bit. But when it gets queued us, it just puts a queue somewhere different. Mm. Manages the traffic. So we've got to go and take our CMRs and get them stamped. It's like wacky races, they all have to go at the same time. <laughs> front of us in the end, this idiot, look. Someone that had his leg up.
Right, we've made it. We've come through all the checks, the sniffing dogs and what have you, and the passport control. And I just put my seatbelt on because that is annoying. And we're in lane 10, so we shouldn't be too long before we're on the old chuff chuff. That sounds a bit hoo, doesn't it? Imagine a chuff chuff going under the channel tunnel. It'd be a bit smoky, wouldn't it? And it's the first time for Angie. Isn't it, hon? Yeah. First time on the Stinky Express. The stinky, one. stinky Express. I have vlogged it before, but if I can get on a prime carriage, I will leave the camera running through the tunnel. But if I'm up behind something like Mr. Flash here, <laughs> it's going to be pointless. Boring. Boring. That would have done the world for me. Look, 
we had this flash bloke in bloody France peddling about on his CB, didn't we? Yes, I know he was, but he was messing about on the A16 on his bloody CB. Oh, he's doing his sat nav now. Why don't you just stop and do it? Do it going along. Bloody messing everybody else up. Well, I think it's crack a lane for a, a coffee, don't you? <laughs> well, I don't know about Costa. And McDonald's well, do me. Yeah, they do. Proper coffee. I know McDonald's ain't really proper coffee, but... It'll do. It's what we're used to, isn't it? Thank you for flashing me in, mate. Still rude. That's it. That's that then? That's it. Two weeks, done and dusted. Look at the car's all loaded up. Truck's all parked up for a day's rest. That's all it's going to get. It's all I'm going to get as well. So now we got to um, go home and get sorted. Oh, nice proper bed, double bed tonight. Not squashed down. <laughs> oh. Just so we get a clear run home. The car's filthy, isn't it? Yeah, it's been oh. sat there for two weeks, isn't it? It's just taken us an hour nearly to clear the truck out after two weeks because you've got to go through it methodically because otherwise you forget things and we've got so much stuff you accumulate over two weeks and the recycling because they don't throw all more rubbish in the bins like most truck drivers they just throw everything in the same bin I separate out all my recycling and bring it home all my bottles, all my cans, all my paper Oh, we're home. I wonder what we're going to see around here when we go around. Piles of bloody rubbish through the front door, I expect. It'll be Brian there. Look at all these blue cars. What's going on around here? Look at them all. Four of them. Five. Five of them. I bet nothing much has changed here since we've been away. Nothing's changed over there. Look, except the grass has grown. The weeds. Yeah. Oh, Brian's the pony is here. I'm going to reverse on the drive because you've got so much crap to get out, haven't we? Go on out the gate then, huh? Home sweet home. What's going on up there, look? That's a bit extreme, isn't it? A scaffold. Council must be doing it. I've got my reversing bleeper. A <laughs> puzzle. <laughs> Race you, race you, race you, race you, race you. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh. So far. So far, so oh. good. <laughs> We've been... Oh, look at that noise out there. Bloody bloke with a blooming hammer drill. All over my recording. Anyway. <laughs> Typical. Oh. Typical. We're home. We're home. <laughs> noise. Neighbours. Anyway, bloody neighbours. We've been away since Monday week, haven't we? And what an exciting <sighs> time it's been. Seen all sorts of stuff, haven't it's we? Different. Been all over the place. Seven countries. Twelve nights out. I've got it written down here, I can't remember it all. Si Six thousand one hundred and ninety five kilometres. Or what? Nearly 4,000 miles. Yeah. Well, you worked it out. And the fuel, we've done five refuels on our trip at the cost of 1,706 euros, 19 cents. And I'm glad I'm not paying for the diesel. But my little truck performed really well. He's, uh, carried, we've carried eight cars delivered and collected within Europe and he's returned 12 to the gallon on a whole trip. That's pretty good. That is pretty good because it's been freighted all the time mainly you know, except for running from Monaco up to Munchkin. Munich in proper... Munchen. Not, in Munchen. I call it, it calls it Munchkin. Anyway, shall we celebrate our little trip? That's yeah. our first proper trip since Angie's retirement. Cheers, hon. Cheers. Up your bum. Up yours. And that was always the plan that you were going to come with me on my yeah. adventure. I have been adventure. with you before, mm. haven't I? But uh, yeah, this is. Yeah, but it's only in, in sort of school break, yeah. isn't it? 
And I've had to fly yeah. back and because of the school mm. starting. But now she can come when she likes. I don't know if you want to come again after that. But I might do. We didn't repeat no, the but Anyway, on. watch this space. We've got a little secret coming up soon. I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to keep you in suspenders. Mm. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. So we've got a nice little adventure coming up pretty soon. So all you guys out there that aren't subscribed yet, I really want you to subscribe. Then you'll get the notifications as and when my vlogs go on and you'll be able to watch them in order instead of not watch them in order and they won't make sense. Anyway, so before it gets too stupid, we're going to, stupid, we're going to go. I've only had a sip of wine. I haven't had a glass yet. No. I think I just need it's to just chill. It's just exhaustion. Up. I'm exhausted. I'm way behind on the editing, so I don't know He's when. hurt his leg. Yes. I fell over and I've got a scar from a bucket, believe it or not, because when you're a lady... You... Oh, do you have to go into that? I did last night. No. That's what blo anyway, well, that's it. We shouldn't kick the bucket. No. On that bombshell, I think we're going to go. I think we better. We better. So, please subscribe, guys. Give us a thumbs up. And um, watch out for the next adventure. We're serious to... <laughs> we will see you soon. Bye.